RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Glide, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany. Brought to you by Corteva AgriScience and Optimum Gly, a new canola trait technology. And we're in the Garford Farm Machinery booth, and this is pretty cool. Mechanical weed removal. We're joined here right now by Alan Knight. Alan, it's Hello. great to chat with you. Thanks very much. Welcome. Okay, so explain, Alan, what's happening behind us here in, in terms of mechanical weed control but it's, it, it's kind of a new age of it. It's, 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 it's pretty neat. It is. Yeah, this is a Garford Robocrop guided hoe. So um, the information goes through to the camera, goes through to the console, transferred through the side shift into mechanical movement into the field between the crops. Okay, so there's a camera that's looking out and because you know, you know, some rows are straight and some rows are not. That's correct. And of course, we don't want to till up the crop that we have coming out of the ground. We don't. So how does it do that and how far in front does it, is it looking? We're not looking too far in front as long as we can see a maximum or minimum of three rows of the crop itself. We're looking about a metre, metre and a half in front of the crop. That's all we need to see. So sometimes we will put the hoe on the front of the tractor. Uh, which is fine, we can see in front, sometimes we'll have to look at the side, or sometimes if we've got the machine at the back, we'll actually physically put the machine further back from the tractor so we've got vision for the camera to see the crop. The, 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 the implement is moving, uh, talk about the out and in as it's adjusting to, uh, to the rows as it's approaching them. Yeah, we're, um, as you can see on the, uh, on the system here, we're straddling uh, two lines on there, so it's two rows of crops. Okay, ideally we'd normally want three, but as this is a demonstration machine, we can actually manipulate it to work on the two. So it will constantly follow the crop and manipulate the side shift to actually follow, follow the crop itself. So we can do uh, generally between 15 and maximum of about 18 kilometers an hour with this machine down a field. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I thought you were going to say that, you know, b because we're reacting to the crop, I thought we were going to be kind of moving typically slower than we normally would. No. We're, we're potentially going like 15 to 18 kilometers an hour. At, the that, faster the better. The, okay, why faster the better? The faster really is we can, uh, we can react against the crop and uh, we get a smoother motion and with the steel work in the ground, the ground work in chairs, we're actually taking the weeds out of the ground, which is predominantly what we want to do. There's two things we're doing. We want to take the crop, take the, uh, take the weed out of the soil and lay it on the surface to die, or we want to actually slice it in half. So as long as we can do one of those two things or both of those things, so speed is our friend. The faster we can go, the better results we can get. Okay, and is there a sensor on every shank then? No, there's, um, there's just the one camera. As long as we can see the three rows, it doesn't matter how big your machine is. If you've got a six meter machine or a 12 meter machine, those three rows will work for you just as well as anything else. We don't need any more. The only reason we put probably two cameras on, we have uh, what we call section control. So if you had a staggered end of the field, we can in lift those units up independently, each one at a time. So we can pick them up at an angle, and then as your headland turns around, you come back in again. We can put them in one at a time to suit the angle of the crop. So here at Agritechnica, there's a number of different companies that are doing mechanical weed control. We're, we're going to see a lot of different versions of it. What makes your technology maybe different than some of the competitors? It's the RoboCrop system. Nobody runs a hoe like we do. It's all about the RoboCrop system made by Garford. So it's the camera system reacting to the shares in the ground. The side shift's completely different to everybody else, how they manufacture that. Uh, we have the pressure down system on the machines as well, so all the wheel units are talking to each other mechanically and physically through hydraulic system. So although there isn't pressure putting into the system, when one wheel picks up, for, let's say it goes over a stone or a mound, then the other systems will actually slacken off. So the, so the actual wheel units and all the, uh, the toolbar frame will stay exactly level. And because they're level, the share in the ground stays exactly where we want it to be. And also because the camera is bolted to that toolbar, the camera stays where we want it to be, which gives us our speed and our quality and our accuracy. Alan, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. No problems.